welcome back. The Triple Elimination Initiative supports the global commitment to the elimination of mother-to-child or vertical transmission of HIV, syphilis and the hepatitis B virus. The Regional Validation Committee is currently in Namibia to assess the submission for the path to elimination of mother-to-child mother transmission. For more, I'm joined by the Executive Director in the Ministry of Health and Social Services, Mr. Ben Nangombe. So good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, Nina. How are you this evening? I'm good, thank you, Mr. Nangombe. And yourself? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Mr. Nangombe, let's get right into it. Talk to us about the current status of mother-to-child transmission of HIV, syphilis, and hepatitis B in Namibia. Yeah, no, thank you very much. It will be a bit of statistics because we are talking about the three diseases that we seek to eliminate from Namibia. So, according to the spectrum estimates, the overall mother-to-child transmission of HIV uh, in Namibia was 4.14% 4, 4 uh, in 2022. This translates to a mother-to-child transmission case, case rate of 486 to 100 live deaths. And over the last three years, Namibia has attained almost 100% of HIV testing among pregnant women who attended antenatal care. As far as treatment is concerned, uh, testing among pregnant women was 97% in 2022, meaning that all pregnant women who attend ANC, 97% uh, of them were tested. And based on the syphilis coverage data, congenital, congenital syphilis case rate uh, is estimated at about um, 325 per 100,000 live births in 2022. Uh, and for the testing of hepatitis B virus infections among pregnant women, the testing rate was 93% in 2022. And the coverage uh, of hepatitis B vaccination uh, birth dose, where we give a birth dose to the newly born babies, that percentage was 94% in 2022, while the third dose was about 83% during the same year. Mm -hmm. Those are impressive statistics, Mr. Nagombe. What strategies and initiatives are being implemented to achieve the triple elimination of these infections? Yeah, um, we, we are implementing a number of strategies, again, for the different uh, infections. The strategies to combat HIV transmission are centered around the four pillars of the prevention of mother to child transmission. This includes the prevention of uh, primary infection of HIV to pregnant mothers and mothers, and the prevention of HIV transmission from HIV-infected women to their babies, which is known as now the uh, prevention of mother-to-child transmission. Mm -hmm. As far as hepatitis B is concerned, the strategies include the testing of all pregnant women and offering treatment when such women are diagnosed to be positive with hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, since 2014, our ministry has been offering hepatitis B vaccination to infants at birth. Mm -hmm. And in terms of syphilis, uh, the strategy includes the testing of all mothers uh, who attend uh, antenatal care and receiving and giving care to those women if they test positive for HIVs. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about the interventions that are in place to support HIV-positive pregnant women, such as you know antiretroviral therapy. Yeah, the interventions that we have put in place to support uh, HIV-positive women. Uh, include, for example, the provision of antiretroviral therapy to uh, such women. And we also provide supportive treatment as appropriate as advised by medical professionals. The support also includes the monitoring of uh, treatment through regular blood checks, breastfeeding guidance, health education, and the provision of HIV services that are integrated within the existing maternal and clinical health care offered at our health facilities. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nangombe, what measures are being taken to ensure access, ensure access to prenatal care and testing for vulnerable populations such as those in remote areas or marginalized uh, communities? 
This is a very important aspect of our intervention. And uh, this, what we are doing is making sure that all health facilities are offering prenatal care services uh, to pregnant women. And in addition to that, there are outreach points that are set up in communities to increase access to services. There are also community health care and uh, extension workers who support pregnant women uh, in the community with health education and uh, providing appropriate languages to services. Uh, some of these services uh, also include uh, community-based HIV testing. Uh, this is how we ensure that women uh, in all parts of the country have access to prenatal care and testing, whether they are classified as uh, vulnerable or as ordinary women in our society. Mm -hmm. Are there any challenges that you can talk to us about or barriers faced in achieving the goal of triple elimination and what steps are being taken to overcome them? I think uh, with the implementation of any intervention, there is likely to be challenges. So one of these challenges includes, for example, where, where pregnant mothers present too late at health facilities. And for example, if they have infections that would have been treated earlier, uh, the intervention will be uh, implemented too late. And that will not, and is not good for health outcomes. So what we are doing in that regard, we are intensifying health education and promotion. And where we have, for example, uh, laboratory tests uh, be, uh, returning late, we are uh, implementing programs such as uh, rapid tests for syphilis, uh, so that we achieve and we receive the test on time, the women are um, attended to on time, so that uh, we, these challenges can be overcome. But uh, with the implementation of the new program, there's likely to be challenges, but it's not something that we cannot deal with. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nangume, just lastly, what can individuals and communities do to support the efforts towards triple elimination and promote awareness about these infections? Yeah, as I indicated, I think one uh, point that uh, Namibia must be proud of is that as we seek to eliminate uh, the uh, mother-to-child transmission of HIV, syphilis, uh, and hepatitis B, uh, Namibia is the first country in Africa to achieve, in the Africa region, to apply for, to be certified as being on the path towards uh, triple elimination. And that's something that uh, uh, must be recorded for history. Uh, but as far as communities and individuals, uh, their contribution to ensuring that we achieve the goal of triple elimination, it's important that our communities and individuals support uh, each other through uh, promoting awareness and sharing of accurate information. We saw during the COVID uh, period that uh, misinformation is dangerous in terms of co compromising the provision of public health care services. So we are calling on members of the community as we uh, aim to achieve triple elimination to provide accurate information and also to ensure that we support pregnant women who are found to be HIV positive or infected with syphilis or cannabis B and uh, defeat uh, stigmatization of mm -hmm. these women. That's the only way that we can achieve our goals and we are calling on communities to do just that to help us improve and uh, ensure that we achieve our targets. Mr. Benangombe, always a pleasure engaging you. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate it. And it's good that you came through to inform the nation about this important uh, intervention. Thank you. That was uh, the ED in the Ministry of Health, Mr. Benangombe, speaking to us on the